Welcome back to the Chrono Talk channel and in this quick video I will explain how can you know what grade of Eta or Celita movement your watch have. And so basically this question came up after this video, uh, we will see the card here, where I explain the different grades of Eta movement and also Salita movements, and then I uh, and there I explain and there I explain the, the the differences and the characteristics of each grade, and uh, I know that this is complex, and I even had in my head that I had this explained. How do you know what kind of grade? It is, but uh, given that many people ask me uh, how to identify, then I, I realized that I was not as clear as I thought I was, so I apologize for this. And the reason for this video is to explain uh, more directly how do you know and how do you identify that. So basically, the identification have to be visual by looking for the balance wheel. This means that if your watch doesn't have a transparent case back, you have to take off the case back of your watch. And why the balance wheel? Because this is the only part that is not optional between the different grades. Because, for example, I saw some people uh, explaining that if you see an Inca block shock absorber, uh, you have you can be sure that it's a top or chronometer. And this is not absolutely true because the Inca block can be optional on the elaborate level, for example. And I can remember right off the bat that, for example, Mido and Taguayer, they use Inca block shock absorbers even to their elaborate level movements. Okay, so the only part that uh, it's not optional is the balance wheel. The standard and elaborate must have a nickel balance wheel, while the top and chronometer must have a glucidur balance wheel. And how do you identify one or another? By the shape of the arms of the balance wheel. Uh, you will see on the on the screen right now that the nickel balance have a, a more more or less triangular arm which is inclined, while the glucidur have rounded arms. Okay, so uh, if you look the at the balance wheel and you see the same shape as the nickel, you can be sure that the the movement is either. Uh, standard or an elaborate. And how do you know which one is which? Then you have to use your experience and more or less deduct. And how do you do this? The tip is that the standard level is usually for smaller brands, unknown brands or boutique brands with low production, while the renowned brands almost always use the elaborate. This means that if you see this kind of balance wheel in a Tissot, a Mido, or a Longines, or a Taguayer, or a Montblanc, you can be sure that this is an elaborate level. On the other hand, if you see the other shape of balance wheel, you can be sure that it's either a top or a chronometer level. And, and again, how do you know which one is each? This is easier. If the watch is a chronometer and you will see chronometer or any kind of reference to be a chronometer on the dial or the case back, then you know it's a chronometer level. But if it's not a chronometer, then you can be sure it's a top level movement. So it's basically easy as that. Uh, the only thing that I want you to be aware is that usually fake ETA movements from China, they usually try to copy the glucidur balance uh, when they obviously are not. Even this is a way to spot fake watches because uh, I can I can remember right off the bat, for, for example, the Tissot Viso date is a very copied watch. There is a lot of fake models of this Tissot. And of course, this is not a chronometer watch. Tissot have some chronometer watches, but this, in this case, it's not. And if you see a Tissot Visodate with a balance wheel 
with this shape, you can be sure that it's a fake watch because it's a fake movement. OK, so that's the tip. And also beware that uh, Chinese movements, uh, even if they don't try to copy the ETA movements, uh, they sometimes use this shape of balance wheel and it doesn't mean that it's glucidur. They don't use glucidur balance wheels. Okay, so please keep in mind that this applies only for eta and selita movements to identify uh, if the balance wheel is nickel or glucidur. And it also doesn't apply to other uh, Swiss brands that have uh, in-house movements, they, they use sometimes different types of, of shapes of balance wheels. So this also doesn't apply. Uh, each brand have their own kind of shape of the balance wheel. So that's it. I hope this is clear now. Hope you like it. Give me your thumbs up and keep watching.